Okay, so I own two of these. <laughs> I think this is all I've owned of these for years and years and years. And these are called sabiki rigs. Uh, they're popular to catch all sorts of bait fish. And that's what we're using today. So Tony's going to meet me down here right now. Uh, last year we did that white crab video. That was pretty cool. Um, today we're looking for herring. And that means we're going to pickle herring. I've never done this before. Uh, I know it's a popular thing to do around here. And yeah, I'm probably going to make lots of mistakes along the way. But first, the fishing part. This should be pretty straightforward. Uh, I've got a 9-foot rod, two 9-foot rods with me. We're going to tie those sabiki rigs on and just put some weight on it. Uh, waiting on him and then, um, you know, take it from there. It's about 31 degrees out, so it's pretty cold. But we don't have much wind, at least, so that's good. Well, let's see if I made a terrible mistake here. Yeah. So you... you... They normally, you do tie them first and pull it out. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, boy, I almost ruined it. He yanked that whole piece of plastic off. Uh, I think this is how most of my herring trips have gone. I, I show up with three rigs and I, I, I ruin them all and I go home. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it. Give you ten ways to hook a bonker, but I can't untangle this rig. There you go. Look at that, man. baby buzzing I'm now pro staff sabiki rig <laughs> all right just let it sink and then give it a little jig it's sinking Ooh, fish on! Double headers, man. This is just basically a steelhead rod and a steelhead reel. This isn't really a surf outfit, but for this, this doesn't really matter. Just let it sink and then I kind of gave it a twitch, you know. you know. Give it a little, when you give it those twitches, right? And then it's like, kind of like bucktailing. And it's like, you're in. But this is like, you know, no brainer fishing really. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You have no will to live, do you? <laughs> no will to live. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, I don't know how much footage of me catching herring you're going to see. Because it's kind of the same thing over and over. I'll just cast into that, cast wherever I feel like, kind of casting just into that rip line, give it a little jiggy, see how many you can get, you know, and that's it, I don't have to set the hook really, come on man, pro staff, pro staff, I'm losing half of them, but There's no secret. It's basically, just put it out there, wait for one hit, and you kind of keep it there. Uh huh. You don't want to bring it in too fast. Others will follow. They're, you know, they, they, they're schooling fish, tightly schooling fish. So they see one fish, they'll probably go and investigate, and then they'll see the other hooks and they'll take it. Man, just watch the rod, rod tip 
bounce and it's tough yeah. to tell how many you got on there but sometimes you can tell if there's multiple yeah you get multiple hits and you can tell and so you uh you hurry this holy <laughs> i got dragged out here what's going on dude tony, hey, tony. Oh, sorry man right. <laughs> what's going on this is like dumb is it gonna be a catch cook <laughs> how have you been cooking them okay. you've been releasing them what have you been doing i have them bake them bake them Yeah. Deep fry, deep fry them hard. Yeah. I believe it. We'll try it. Okay. <laughs> I actually salt them up a little bit. Oh right Jesus! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Herring. This is like post-apocalypse. All right. So this pickling process—it's a process. So what I need to do first is I need to fillet these things up, scale them, and I need to soak them in salt water for it says I've read 12 to 24 hours. And the other thing I think is a fun opportunity. Um, so let's address, is all fried food good? So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'll put like, there's probably like 20 of those herring. I'll put 18 of them for the pickling, right? Um, let's fry them whole. Okay, so I've heard from people that the bones get soft and you can eat them whole. Um, you know, that's like the most common thing that I hear is you fry anything and it's good. And as of right now, I'm gonna disagree with that because I think I'm gonna hate this. All right, let's uh, let me grab two of these. Oops, a little messy. Sorry, knocking the camera. Didn't need to do that. Let me find two of the smaller ones. All right, there's one. This is our two herring, so I'm gonna gut them, uh, get the rest of those scales off. All right, that's my take for the day, right? So I'm gonna put that in the fridge for now, and we're gonna get back to that after we're done frying those two specimens. All right, all I'm gonna do with this herring, it's gonna be an absolute hack job. I'm gonna just fillet it. I'm gonna try to like do a quick modified butterfly. So for example, I've got like, I don't know, like 20 of these, right? So I'm not gonna go crazy trying to extract every little tiny piece of meat off of it to make like the perfect, you know, you know to really get the perfect fillet job on it. It's, it's weird, it's an interesting fish. Like the only thing I've ever heard is like pickled herring. Pickled herring is like the standard way. Is it fishy? It, you, it, it, so it's loaded with bones and they fry oh. up and they dissolve. Is that why they pickle it? Because it dissolves in the vinegar? Mm -hmm. But you can fry it also. Alright, so I'm heat, heating up some oil. Um, I just butterflied this basically so it's held together by the tail right now. Um, basically I just took the spine out from the fish. Alright, so while I'm waiting for the oil to heat up, uh, I'm just kind of looking at so yeah, I'm doing just a quick Google search right now, and I just see fried herring, spicy fried herring. Yeah, some a lot of people are going with uh, red onion, lemon. Let's let's, let's try it. All right, just like the previous thing we said, remember any fried food does taste good. Uh, this does look actually pretty decent for what it is. All right, I just pulled it off the pan. I'm gonna let it settle in for a minute here. Um, of all the other catch and cooks, the only one where I got this kind of smell was the bonker. I mean, it smells a little better than the bonker and the false albacore. If this is good, I will tell people fried herring is good. So I don't know, let's find out. All right, so I made a very basic, um, right here is a very basic tartar sauce with some hot mustard. Uh, fresh onions and, and um, pickles, right? It's like real straightforward. So, um, without further ado, here is your slab of herring. And um, let's go for it. I'm ready. Holy sh. The internet was right for once. I ate a whole filet of fried herring. Bones and all. And I'm pretty, pretty picky about bones getting in the mix with my, you know, my chewing process, rather. And you can detect them a little bit. Right? A little bit. But... Overall, they're soft. Even the tail's good. So now, now I have to tell you 
Uh, what would I put this as an equivalent to? This fried herring. It reminds me of the fried whiting you get from your Chinese food joint. Um, so this whole, the bones soften up. They're eating it in front of you on camera. They do. You can notice that you're, you're eating, chewing through bones, but it's not like, you can't detect it. And if, you know, if, if you have lots of adult beverages, you won't notice. That's all I gotta say. You know, that, that's like a good fish fry option, actually. Like, for like winter time, get like, I only did two. I should have done like 15 of those fried. Um, get a bunch of them, you know, scale them up, flay them up, and just fry them. So we're gonna do the next step now. We're gonna do a pickle. And uh, yeah, I'm already like, that was really, really, really surprising. All right. I don't know, it feels like eight hours later, but it's only been an hour and a half. Um, so I did a real quick job filleting all these. That's the salt water, right? And change the water. And I'll do it once when I get up, and that's it. So um, that looks like herring. All right, so I have never done this before, and it does not seem like there's a universal method to pickling. So I'm gonna do something of my own, which I think is gonna work out. Um, I just kind of measured the, the amount of herring I have, so it's three pounds total. And from there, I'm going to boil water, vinegar, and kind of mix up the spices on my own. It seems like there's a personal preference kind of across the board. So, uh, let's see. I'm crossing my fingers. I hope I don't botch this. But if I do, just jump in and on there and go to town on me. But um, I think it should be, you know, the vinegar is what does the work here. And everything else is kind of your own flavoring. So as long as I got the vinegar in there, I'm going to boil water. It looks like water to vinegar is um, just a slightly more than 50% ratio. So I've got five cups of water over here, and then I'm going to do uh, like three and a half cups of vinegar. And then we're going to boil it, add some spices, and hopefully everything works out. So check this out. All right, next thing is four cups of vinegar. So I'd rather just make too much brine than not enough. Um, I gotta double check to see how much is actually gonna go in there. But I got four cups of vinegar, five cups of water, alright, white vinegar and water, and now we're gonna get to the spices. Alright, so I got the water gone to the boil over there, right? Uh, meanwhile, um, here's what we're seasoning it with. We got, um, three tablespoons of all, uh, all, I didn't have all spice, so I used jerk seasoning, which is cool. Uh, one tablespoon of pickling spice. A uh, full teaspoon of black peppercorns. And that's really about it on a bay leaf, of course. Bay leaf and a half. Um, you know, this stuff is real powerful, so um, yeah, that's going to do the majority of the spicing. Oh, one more thing. Forgot one thing. All right, so the last thing I'm doing is putting uh, about a cup and a half of sugar. So I'm, I'm not sure if I put too much salt on the fillet, so sugar is going to be the last ingredient. That's going to balance out any uh, salinity I put in there. Um, it should, you know, just a cup. I've seen some, some recipes call for way more than a cup, and I'm not sure why, but most recipes don't call for brown sugar. This brown sugar would be what I expect to be the right call, but um, yeah. All right, so we hit the next wonderful part of the journey, and yes, that is finally putting our herring into our jars, putting some onions, that's some dill, and then we're going to pour the pickling spice over it. So I let the pickling, sp you know, the pickling solution cool off. All right. So I'm just going to kind of like layer it up like a like a like a weird sundae. All right. So I let this sit for about an hour. Right. So this looks like some kind of weird apple cider hybrid. I mean, I guess I could pour it in, but I'm just going to kind of ladle it in here. And uh, every jar after I'm done, you know, I just make sure I got a nice little mix of spice and garlic and all that stuff and as soon as I know all that fish is submerged there we go all right now we can put this away and let's do the other ones all right there it is well we're gonna see you guys uh, let's say in about three days from now so we put our pickling spice in there our herrings floating around happily with some dill and red onion. All right, y'all are gonna go right next to the cookie dough. Okay, internet, so the pickle's done herring. Herring is done pickling. Pickling is not done herring. 
But they, we're done with the pickling process. So it's been three days later. Uh, let's give this a try. Come on. Do I need two hands for this? All right, man. Put on some pita chips. Uh, I can't describe the smell. It's not a fishy smell. It's like a vinegar and sugary smell. Uh, I don't know. But let's get my reaction on camera right now. The fried herring was good. So, is the pickled herring going to be good? All right, so more than likely, you, uh, at least here in the Northeast, right where I'm from, supermarkets sell pickled herring. If you actually bought it, it's a different story. The majority of people I know will not eat pickled herring. I'll tell you what, this looks a lot fresher than any store-bought herring. Like, the skin actually shines because this hasn't gone through a, a manufacturer's facility. So it does have that, that shine of a fish that's, you know, you should eat, I guess. But here goes. Fried herring was good. Let's try the pickled herring. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, so like they say, the, the internet is right. Um, what I read is the bones will dissolve in vinegar. That is 100% true. There is no bone. I cannot even detect the hint of a bone. So the bone has been dissolved in the vinegar. The spices I used work. I got a slight kick from that garlic and um, jerk seasoning. That was good. That was like... I was kind of like not into doing this and it makes me wonder about the other you know so herring we they pickle them because they're they're too bony to fillet right and cook in other ways um, it's great what's great about pickled herring is for somebody like me that lasts three weeks in the refrigerator that's awesome yeah, it tastes good it's, it's like a good snack food I guess you can go as heavy on the sodium as you want or as light on the sodium I went somewhere you know Midway, there's. I don't think I put ended up with too much salt in this. It doesn't taste salty. My first time doing this, and I didn't botch it, and it came out really good. So maybe I could get some reactions of people trying it on camera too. I got to go over to Mario's house in a little bit, finish up the catch and cook lake trout. So guys, you like the video? Leave it a thumbs up. Um, click that subscribe button, and I'll catch you later with another catch and cook. Um, I guess bon appetit. Uh, whatever the you know traditional Scandinavian version of bon appetit. Uh, is that's what uh, I got for you. So catch up with you guys later. Tight lines. Delicious. It's very different, right? Uh, yeah. It's. I mean, it tastes. It tastes. Um, the texture is a little different. It's better, right? Yeah, it's fresher. It's. it's there's like, no slimy. There's not no. that slimy texture either. No. All right, so we got this one. We got one five star rating. Do you have a uh, black bread? No, I only got. I'll take a pizza chip. No, yeah, yeah. Only got. I need, I need some sort of carb to go on to this. Oh, look at this. The red onions. I see dill in there. Oh, look at that. Three days in a pickle brine. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that color. Look at that. It's like Passover all over again. That's damn good. <laughs> I was actually surpri surprised how good that came out when I tried it. Oh, I, that, that, real, I eat that. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like one of those things. It's like, you know, and we'll stay in. The, we'll stay with this in this mode. But like, good gefilte fish is really good. <laughs> Other, if it's not good, it's really bad. <laughs> and this is one of those things that it's either really good or really bad. And that's really good. I, I'll tell you. I'm, I I'm used the jerk seasoning actually in it too. Oh, you did. That? Yeah. Instead of um, using allspice, I used jerk seasoning, which oh. has a lot of. Allspice. And I used sugar in the brine, also, yeah. after salting it for twenty four hours. I salt water. Put it in wow. salt. If my friend David Stern is watching, this is what we have to make. We'll get out, we'll get Eli to make it for us. Um, because I know you like that pickled herring. Mm, that's good. That's really good. I didn't think I would like it. I mean, not that you made it. I, I didn't think I like it. I don't like herring. But you'll you'll find me on Canarsie Pier tomorrow. <laughs>